Today we're here to share some exciting capabilities coming out of the Adobe.io Interactivity APIs. My name is Wendy Lee and I'm the Developer Marketing Director for Adobe.io. I'm thrilled to be joined by Paul Balstad, Chief Architect of Adobe's Communications Business Group. Paul, it's great to have you. How would you describe your role at Adobe? Well, as you said, I'm the Chief Architect of the Adobe Communications Business Group. And I've really been specializing in voice and video communications for over 20 years as a researcher, an engineer, and an architect. My original research in the area as an academic in Australia focused on developing technologies to enable communications online to be as productive and natural as in-person communications. I've since worked on developing those technologies and deploying them in many applications from massively multiplayer games to conferencing services. Now my mission is to make it easier to get access to Dolby's communication technologies through the Dolby I.O. cloud service. Now I know Dolby.io recently launched in May of this year and part of the platform are the interactivity APIs. How would you explain the interactivity APIs to a six-year-old? Well, a six-year-old would be very familiar with using an app to communicate with their friends using audio and video. These days, People are also very used to attending school, visiting their doctor, attending a piano lesson, and many other day-to-day -day activities online instead of face-to-face. -face. Mm. Now, people are using apps for these different experiences, and it's much easier to, say, talk to your doctor in your healthcare app instead of jumping out and using a, another communication app to talk to your doctor. So a lot of mm -hmm. app developers want to integrate voice and video communications directly into their app, so you can just press a button to talk to your doctor. So the Dolby I.O. APIs allow developers to integrate voice and video quickly into their app. And they don't have to be an expert in voice communications or video. We'll take care of all of that for them. That's great. Tell us about some of the actual capabilities coming out of the Interactivity SDK 3.0 release. Well, the major feature in the 3.0 release is the integration of Dolby Voice. And mm. Dolby Voice is a technology that many service providers, communication service providers, conferencing service providers, are having integrated into their service for high quality voice communications. The main features of Dolby Voice are, it's, it's got its own codec, the Dolby Voice codec, which has advanced network resilience features built directly into the codec to deal with challenging network conditions. We also have Dolby noise suppression, integrated that's designed to enable you to join calls from busy streets, noisy airports and train stations. We also provide nuisance suppression to get rid, get rid of annoying sounds like typing. We have multiple capture modes as well. We have a mode optimized for voice. And this includes a machine learning trained voice activity detector that works to keep non-voice out of a call. When there is speech, we keep all of the voices in the call at a consistent level, remove background noise, and maintain, maintaining intelligibility. Mm. If your application is not based on voice, like a piano lesson, we have a transparent mode to let the music through, as you intended. We also have integrated device management. And with this, um, we detect the device which your app is running on, and we'll adjust our audio processing accordingly. This is particularly important um, for Android devices. For example, if you're using a cheap Android phone with a bad built-in echo suppressor, um, we'll disable mm -hmm. it for you mm -hmm. so that we can use our own echo suppressor so you can have a better call. Also, audio is mixed in the server, which means that if you're in bad network conditions, you can always drop back to one audio stream and maintain the conversation. The last feature I'll talk about is spatial rendering. This automatically separates the voices out in front of you, and it really helps you understand natural interactive conversations, like your face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. The spatial separation helps your brain understand when voices and other noises overlap. Um, there's a lot of science behind this feature, but essentially it enables you to understand more of the conversation and reduces fatigue in online calls. Great. Thank you, Paul. And I feel like a feature like spatial rendering is definitely critical uh, in today's age. Yeah. So why did the team choose to focus on these specific capabilities? 
Well, voice is obviously core to the meeting experience. And Dolby Voice is a technology that we've worked with conferencing service providers to integrate. And mm -hmm. they're serving billions of minutes of voice um, a month with this technology. So really the aim was to integrate Dolby Voice and enable a wider um, the wider developer community to access it through the Dolby I.O. service. Makes sense. Now, when are these new capabilities available and how can customers get started? Well, we're releasing these features as part of the 3.0 version of our platform in late October. Mm -hmm. And for existing customers, it's a quick and easy upgrade to the 3.0 version of our SDKs. The developer interfaces have not changed significantly. And most of the changes are really in the back end. If you're new to the service, you can just go to the Dolby IO website, sign up and mm -hmm. start developing. And if you have issues, feel free to reach out. We have technical people um, ready to help. And finally, what can we expect next? Well, the Dolby IO platform is built to enable us to continually innovate and create compelling audio and video experiences. And we've got a line of um, audio and video um, innovations coming out. So really watch this space for what's next. Great. Thank you, Paul. And thank you again for walking us through the latest release. Be sure to check out the release notes on dolby.io for more information. You can also sign up for a free account, like Paul mentioned, um, at dolby.io to get started. Until next time, stay safe and stay well. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Paul. Thank you.